All right, everyone, we are uh, going to start the pieces for the candy dispenser. Once you have your pegboard toy turned in today, you're going to start making pieces for the candy dispenser. Now, some of you were working ahead and you started the base. That was my very first video. It had no narration on it whatsoever. I didn't know what I was doing, uh, but I made the base. Uh, today, I'm going to make all of the pieces for the candy dispenser, and hopefully you'll find it to be quite a simple project compared to the pegboard toy. So I'm going to start by making the base. I'm going to go new, standard IPT, create. And bear with me, I'm having to run this off my laptop today. My desktop's having issues. I hope it's not because of something I did. I'm going to go uh, click on the pencil to create a 2D sketch. I'm going to click on the front plane. I'm going to go rectangle. I'm going to click in the center. And my base is going to be 5 inches by 5 inches. So I'll type in 5, tab 5, and hit enter. I'll hit front view to get the full view of that. And then I'll go finish sketch. Little house on the view cube. And we'll extrude that to three fourths of an inch. We're working with three quarter inch pine, so we'll make this actual size. I'll go ahead and check that. Now what I want to do is I want to round off the edges so it has a nice appearance. I'm going to use a tool called the fillet. It's like the chamfer that you used on the pegboard toy. I'm going to use a quarter inch fillet. The decimal of that is 0.25. And I'm only going to click the four front edges. I'm going to give this a color. Since I'm using pine, um, we'll stain it a, a nicer color. If I can get my colors to work, Let's see what I can find. Walnut. We're going to use a walnut stain on our pine project. It, it takes a relatively inexpensive uh, material, makes it look a little nicer. It also helps me detect whether or not you've done any uh, production errors in there because it'll accentuate uh, any imperfections. But so you have to show great care uh, when you're making this type of finish. So there's the base. I'm going to go Save As. Make sure you're in the right folder. And we'll call this Candy Dispenser Base. Do I want to replace it? Yes. So I've made these before. Now let's make the top. We're going to go New, Standard IPT, Create. Click on the pencil for a 2D sketch. Click on the front plane. We'll use rectangle again. And the top is going to be 4 by 4. Click on the front of our view cube. Finish sketch. Little house on the view cube. Extrude. Same thickness, 3 quarters. We'll go fill it. 0.25, and we'll round off those edges. Now what's different about the top is it has to have a hole in it so that the candy will pass through the jar into the slider. So we need to create a hole. First we'll start with a point in 2D sketch. So we'll click on the pencil, click on the top, and we'll put a point right in the middle. Watch for those guidelines. There they are. Finish sketch. And our hole is going to be one inch. It's going to be through all. And the diameter is one. Okay. We'll give it a dark walnut color again. We'll save this as candy dispenser top. OK, 
okay, now we're going to have two little spacers that go between the top piece and the base. Uh, it allows the uh, slider to pass under the hole so that you can uh, get candy out of your candy dispenser. So we'll go New, Standard IPT, Create. Now, even though the project takes two spacers, we only have to draw one. We'll go to Rectangle. Click on our center. It's going to be three and a half by one. Finish sketch. Little house. Extrude. This is going to be three-fourths of an inch. Go to our material color, and we'll make this dark walnut as well. Now we're going to make the slider. This is the long, narrow piece that helps you retrieve the candy from your candy dispenser. So we're going to go New, Standard IPT, Create. Click on the pencil for 2D sketch. Click on the front plane rectangle. Click on our center. It's going to be 12, whoops, 12 tab 1. Click on the front plane. Finish sketch. Little house. Extrude. 3 fourths of an inch. We're going to make a groove in the middle. We're going to make it on the narrow edge. Uh, the groove is to allow the candy to fall into the slider uh, so that you can retrieve it. So we don't want to put it on this thick edge. We're going to put it on the narrow edge. Really, you could do it in either place. But then you have to pay attention to what your depths are going to be. So I'm going to click on the pencil. I'm going to click on the narrow edge. I'm going to make a rectangle. Uh, I don't want to line it up in the center. I'm going to go off to the side a little bit. I'm going to click on the top edge of my object. And I want this to be one tab 0 0.375. 0 0.375 is half the thickness of our material. Now we're going to center this with a dimension constraint. So I go dimension. I'm going to click on the left edge of my new rectangle and the left edge of my slider. And I want this value to be 5.5 .5 or 5 and a half. I'm going to extrude that out as a cut. Finish sketch. Extrude as a cut. Make sure our thickness is a uh, Cuts through at 1, and check it. Let's see if that worked OK. Looks good. Now we're going to make a couple of points for our uh, pegs. We're going to have little peg handles. Helps you control your slider. So I'm going to click on the pencil. I'm going to click on uh, this view. I'm going to place a couple points. I'm going to align them horizontally. And then I'm going to dimension them in. I have only one sketch plane, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to get both holes cut free, but we'll find out. We'll use our dimension tool. We'll make this 0.5 from the end. And this one here, if we go off the same end, we can make this 11.5. Now we'll use our hole feature. Finish sketch. We'll go to hole, 0.25 through all. That's exactly what we want. So we'll click OK. We'll go to our material. And we'll give it a walnut color as well. Okay, our last piece is going to be the pegs. I need to save this, though. So 
I'm going to go save as, and I'll call this candy dispenser slider. One last piece, the pegs. We'll go new, standard IPT, create, click on the pencil for 2D sketch, front plane, circle, circle is going to be 0.25. That's what our hole was that we cut in our slider for the pegs. Finish sketch, extrude, and we'll do this to 1.5, inch and a half. Grab that little bar there, and we'll color that walnut. And we'll save this as slider pegs. You have now completed all the pieces for the candy dispenser. Next time, we'll learn how to assemble it. Good luck.